general, lose some skull busters, and put your new trust my pure wrists. Look away now, because we've got ourselves a wall right in this video. This glitch has been around since April last year, and it's only been a recent update. It's messed with the physics of the car, so you so I've got to mess with the tires a bit, bring down the power. But apart from that, it still gets you around Tokyo in 23 minutes. I had some mistakes, had to got pulled up by traffic. Yeah, I reckon you can break 23 minutes with this. Uh, if you're doing it that quick, you're making nearly 2.2 million for this an hour. So it makes its money back within the hour. If you go over to the legendary store right now, you can pick this up for 1.8 million credits. So this is a classic. Just get on it. So once you've got the car, head over to the tuning shop and the first thing you want to do is get yourself some comfort hard tyres. Next up is semi-racing, you're going to get a high RPM turbo and if the car's not already got it, I'm not too sure, you're going to want a fully customizable LSD. Also make sure you've got a fully customizable racing transmission, it might already come with the car, I know one intermediate tyres. Strange that for two tyres, but I'll explain it shortly. So that's it for the tuning store. Next, we're going to go over to GT Auto, go to the customization section, and we're going to get some wheels. Now, this can be any wheels you want, it can be the stock wheels, whatever you like, you can gold wheels. I'm going to go for these white ones that I've already got, and we're going to want to change the offset to wide and for some reason this changes the PP on it so you'd expect it to change a little bit because you're getting wide wheels but with the combination of the tyres it drops the PP right down to 575 not sure why but we'll just go with it you know we'll not complain right that's it um, don't be afraid of the PP can change um, it will once we've sorted the tune out so let's go over to the garage and sort the tune out. So what we're essentially going to do here with the tune is make the car as shock absorbent as possible. So the anti-roll bar is set to as low as possible. The dampers are absorbing as much as they can. The only thing that's not really moving is the springs. Um, that's just to stop the car from wobbling too much. So we've got them set to the maximum. Uh, Body height, you've got 75 at the front, so 95 at the rear. You can't set it too high at the rear because then the back end starts to spin out even when you're wall riding. Um, you want comfort hard tyres on the front, uh, intermediate tyres on the rear. You want all your diff settings to be 5 so the wheels can rotate independently. And you want the downforce settings set to 200 at the front. 689 at the rear. I'm going to stick that high RPM turbo on, and I've got my brake balance set to 4. Um, it's up to you what you do with brake balance. The only car you need to use it for is the hairpin, and that's it. So let me walk you through a lap, and also the pitfalls to avoid to keep that clean race bonus. So we're coming up to the first corner. What are you going to want to do? These two cars basically keep the car to the left as you come up the hill, keep the power on, cycle down the gears, and you should pull it this corner, you get the wheel spin, so you just need to control the power a bit, maybe put traction control on it, and do that. This corner, you just want to ride all the way around, so you see a bridge, and you just want to have a Further the front one on this corner, and then you all ride this one, let go of the power, hit the corner be able to get around without crashing the cars in there. Full throttle lining yourself up for the next corner, wall ride around and then immediately come over to the right and wall ride this one. Keeping it turning left just to make sure that you don't hit that back tyre barrier. Wall ride again, come over to the right, wall ride again, you might get a bit of wheel spin on that one so just control the power if you do. Straight down to the bottom, you can slow on the brakes. The I just before the one with that. Slam on the brakes really hard. The car 
I slow down to 40 and then just work around and get on the power as soon as you hit that second apex just because the turbo lag is that far. And that's it, that's the fastest lap. Now the clean race bonus um, is basically avoid hitting other cars. Um, the main point where you're going to come into contact with cars is turn one and two. So if you do see the car there, you can go round the corner without hitting them. But if they're going to be on the exit when you are, it's better just to slow down and just make sure you've got your brakes on ready if they're going to be in your way. I think that's the only corner. Uh, ah, the chicanes as well. Just watch out on them because obviously you come out when you go around round the chicane, you always like to come over to the other side. Just Keep an eye on them, basically. And that's it, it'll throw you around this level in absolutely no time. Um, quick and easy money, get on it. If you need cars, there's no point wasting any time, unless you're up for the challenge of grinding without cheating. Right, that's all folks. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you have, like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Adios.